Hello my beautiful collective and welcome to Let Everything Tarot. Thank you all so much for your likes, your shares, your comments and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. If any of you like to book a personal or information on how to do so is in the description box below. Please make sure you are reading everything before reaching out to me for a booking. So today, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry guys. Today um, we're going to be doing a general reading for the collective. We're going to be seeing what is coming towards you, family, lover, friend, or foe. Please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa. So just take what resonates, switch the gender, switch the roles, do what you've got to do. Whatever you don't got to do is come at me in the comments, okay? So this is for my beautiful collective. So <clears throat> let's just move that out of the way. The overall energy we have for you guys is um, love and protect yourself, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, we have let your hair show you the way. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but it does not have to be, okay? So for some of you, this could be what you're doing, or this is what the universe is trying to get you to do. They want you to um, protect yourself. They want you to... Um, I'm hearing something about self-respect. So this is you recognizing your self-value and your self-worth. And anyone who threatens that, anyone who doesn't um, appease you, anyone who doesn't like treat you the way that you feel like you should be treated, or if you feel like you're not... Um, you're just not getting what it is that you deserve in a situation. I feel like, um, you know, you need to show yourself a bit of love, a bit of respect and, um, you know, keep yourself to yourself and just kind of move forward, move on. OK, so you could be thinking about things like this. You could be thinking about, you know, what direction do I really want to go into? OK, I feel like whatever it is, maybe it's something that you have to do independently. Maybe you thought you were going to do something with someone or with people, but it's like, you know what? You guys are just not fucking bomber class serious. OK, you guys are dickheads. So goodbye and good day. I'm going to do it on my own. OK, <laughs> some of you could be Caribbean, but it's not have to be OK, because that I don't even know where that just came from. <laughs> But um, yeah, I feel like you're just like, listen, I can do bad all by myself. And when I'm by myself, I be doing good. Me look good, me feel good, okay? Also, there could be somebody um that's thinking about coming in the direction of you, okay? But I'm hearing, listen to the messages, listen to your surroundings, okay? Two, 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 I just saw, so that could be very significant, but it does not have to be, okay? So you could be seeing twos a lot, okay? So yeah, this is all about you and protecting yourself, protecting your heart, um, protecting your mind, soul, body, skin, everything, okay? So let's just see where this is going. Let's see. Also, there could be somebody that's very um, protective over you, okay? So let's just see. So this is for the beautiful collective. <sighs> so let's do the affirmation. I'm just trying to shuffle so that you guys can see. Okay, so we have I am talented that wanted to come out, okay? So this could be also saying to protect your talents. You know, there's a lot of people out here that are talentless. They don't know how to think for themselves. So they steal, they copy, okay? So this could be saying, you know, make sure that you're protecting um, anything that you create, anything that you put out there, okay? It also could be saying that you are your stuff is protected and people love it, what it is that you do, okay? But you need to... um recognize how much talent you actually have you know for many of you all your talents and your skills are going to be in different areas okay so it, whatever um you feel like your talent is or whatever you feel like um is talent um or you could be looking at someone as very talented okay and like I said, you could be very protective over this person because you can see that they have a lot to offer they have a lot to give okay a lot of people are you know going coming in their direction wanting what it what their service whatever it is that they um they can do i feel like people want it okay but yeah but you are talented we have i am charming that wanted to come out also okay could be done with the scorpio it does not have to be okay so yeah i'm hearing something about all smiles or smiles all round okay so this could be your charm okay um there's just something about you maybe that's your talent you know how to charm people you know how to kind of get what it is that you want while also kind of protecting yourself and kind of keeping your motives and everything to yourself, okay? <laughs> so I'm getting kind of like manipulation type vibes, but not, I'm not getting anything negative here, okay? I just feel like you've got to do what you've got to do to protect yourself because there's people out here saying and doing whatever it is that they need to say and do to get whatever it is that they need to get. So, um, you know, you need to kind of just make sure that you are... Um, you're not being taken advantage of, especially if you're someone that's got gifts, Okay? Now, there also could be somebody that's looking at you, like, literally, he's looking at her, like, oh, my goodness, like, yeah, like, you know, she bad, she got all that talent, yeah. Um, so, I just feel like that's what someone is thinking about you. Someone could be very skilled when it comes to hair here also, okay, or somebody likes your hair, 
or somebody wants their hair done if you do someone's hair they're really going to love it as well okay <clears throat> so this is for my beautiful um collective so we have i am playful here yeah this is what i was getting like kind of like laughy jokey vibes okay so for some of you i kind of just feel like someone's going to be making you smile a lot okay there's a lot to smile about there's a lot to laugh about okay somebody here has very playful energy so they make you feel young they make you feel like a child but like in a good way okay somebody also here i'm hearing something about inner child healing okay so maybe that's what some of you need to do or what you are doing okay because yes we have i know my worth at the bottom of the deck exactly you know your worth you know your value you know what you you're going to take what you're not going to take you understand the value of your talent also as well so it's like listen i ain't playing no games with any of you people okay because i got to do what i got to do to stay protected you know it is what it is i feel you i feel you okay so <clears throat> let's clarify i am talented so this is for my beautiful collective okay so we have indalo okay and she reads she who carries a rainbow miracles lucky charm um protection magic safety and rainbow so we've got charm and protection here twice okay yeah so like i said don't worry about your talents or your gifts okay it's a blessing whatever has been given to you it's a blessing and your blessing is protected so you don't have to worry about that okay i feel like um you're very lucky to have whatever it is that you have, because I feel like it's very unique. Not many people um, have this gift that you have, or maybe you just have an abundance of gifts. And it's like, you know, some people, they're very skilled at like one area or one thing. You could be skilled at many things. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Sorry, guys. You could be skilled at many things. So, um, you know, but the universe is here to say like they are protecting you. So don't worry, okay? I'm also hearing look out for a rainbow. You will promise something, okay? You are someone's blessing or you will promise some kind of blessing and it's coming, okay? But yeah, someone is very protective over you as well. I feel like it's the divine itself that's protective. Please come for I am charming. So this is for my beautiful um, collective. So we have Anukat, okay? And she reads, Goddess of the River Nile, cleanse, purify water, refresh, soak, dilute, and sanitize. Yeah. So for some of you, you could be literally sanitizing your space, your mind, cleansing things out. Like I said, doing whatever you need to do to protect yourself. This could be simply like um, just going around your home and just doing a deep clean, okay? Bringing in that fresh energy, the art of Feng Shui I'm hearing, okay? We do have the muse of love at the bottom of the deck, so it definitely could be something to do with um, love or the love of self or just um because yeah it does say that it says love and protect yourself so love upon yourself okay because there's going to be loads of people that's around you trying to charm you you've got something that people want or that people want to possess or that people want to feel people want to be a part of it also could be somebody that's going to express some kind of emotion to you okay because it's almost like he's got like all this emotion all this water in his mind and he wants to say it so someone's thinking about something sweet that they want to say to you or something to make you feel good okay I also feel like you're feeling refreshed, you're free, feeling reborn, you're feeling renewed, okay? Somebody also may want to renew something with you, okay? Yeah, a lot of emotion here, okay? Could be a cancer, does not have to be. The fourth house, moon, water, emotion, family, sensitive, nurture, intuition, and empathy, yeah. Okay, for some of you, it could be parents as well, but it does not have to be, okay? Um, yeah, and then we've got Muse of Speech at the bottom of the deck, which reads speaking language, expressions, letters, articles, texts, and contracts, yeah. Someone has something that they want to say to you, okay? Now, for some of you, you could have been um, protecting yourself from a person. Like I said, maybe somebody wasn't treating you the way that you deserve to be treated. And now this person is like in their emotions, they're reflecting on things and they want to express something. If this is like the father or the mother of your child. They, I feel like somebody wants to talk about getting back together and like having a um, beautiful family unit, you know. And you're just like, well, I ain't trying to get back together just for the kids. Like, I need to love you because I want my children to grow up and to see love, not to see tolerance. Like, okay. So just don't tolerate what you, um, you know, you, like I said, you know how worthy you are. So if something is not up to par, move it along. Okay. Move it along. Some of you as well, you're very intuitive. Okay. Your intuition is going to be on fleek. It's going to be unlocked. Okay. I feel like your inner child is going to be unlocked, which is going to help your, um, your gifts heighten, if you will. Okay. So let's just see where this is going. What card do I want to do next? Let's just, let's do tarot. Why not? 
<clears throat> so please come fight and die. This is for my beautiful um, yeah, we got the wheel of fortune, okay? So it could be dealing with a Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, or a Leo, okay? It does not have to be okay, but yeah, I feel like um something is a part of your destiny here, okay? Some of you you're receiving a lot of fortune, okay. So just be very pleased to know that the wheel is definitely turning in your favor. For some of you, astrology could be very significant, but it does not have to be okay. For some of you, you have really amazing charts as well. Someone may tell you that, but you are protected. And I feel like you are um, in control of your own fortune. You can turn the wheel here. Like something is in your hands. You have the talent. You have everything that people want. Okay. Yeah, so just, you know, just be... Like I said, just be very careful with all of this gift, all of this talent, all this beauty. So we got the two of emotions. I told you, someone wants to express themselves. Okay, two of emotions, two of cups. Again, this could definitely be somebody that you have a family with, the ten of pentacles, or somebody's saying that they want a family with you, they want children, they want to be stable with you, they want to take you seriously, somebody wants to invest in you. Okay, but again, a lot of fortune, a lot of money. Some of you may, this may be like inheritance. If any of you are getting a divorce or something like that as well, you're ching ching. You're getting shmoney. <laughs> okay, sorry, guys. Woo, but yeah, but somebody here is in love, okay? They love what they see. Somebody has come, like, because I, I keep getting this vibe of, like, something renewed. It's like someone has come back new and fresh. If all this is, like, new love, okay? This is a new person. You're like, yeah, finally, someone's on my wavelength. Like, yes, okay? So a lot of cute messages and texts. Okay, a lot of conversation. Okay, so we have the sun here. Yeah, gorgeous energy. So it could be dealing with the Leo. Leo and Cancer is very heavy here, okay? But there's going to be some kind of enlightenment. Some of you may have a child or a son or, or a daughter, okay? I want to say a baby girl is very significant here, but it does not have to be. But I really feel like you make someone happy here. Someone kind of just visualizes you as their future person or... Somebody who they want to have kids with. Now, again, for others of you, if this is like your intuition or something to do with your gifts, you just, I'm t I, I cannot express the amount, when it comes to abundance, like I can't express how gifted someone is here. Like someone here is like psychic as fuck. Like they just have all the prob all the um solutions to all the problems. They just see everything. Like they see through the darkness. Because, you know, it's, it's dark here. She's got the moon behind her. She's got the sun behind her. So night and day. Okay, so something significant about the night and day. Also, something could be very significant about the full moon. Excuse me. Today. Or tonight, depending on when you watch this reading. We have the two, the four of emotions at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so cancer energy once again. Okay, so for some of you, um, like I said, rejecting what no longer serves you. Okay, if you're not interested in certain things, you're not interested. But I do feel like somebody wants to get back with you. Okay, this is like somebody kind of like fixated on the past. You know, there's a cup here that's coming. She's like, nah, I don't want that cup. I'm looking straight at this one. Fuck these two also. <laughs> Honestly, I also feel like, again, like I said, like for some of you, you could just be rejecting people and rejecting opportunities to focus on yourself. For others of you, somebody um, feels like they've missed out on an opportunity with you and they, like, they want to express their love or they want to express um, working with you, okay? But I feel like somebody here may fear, fear rejection, now, for some of you, if somebody does reach out to you, you may reject this person, okay? But for others of you, it could be just reflecting on the past, saying that, yeah, I know where, where I went wrong, I know what I was doing in this situation, or I know what not to do, okay? So it's just, you know, different strokes for different folks. So just take what you feel resonates with you. But for others of you, I feel like there's like a new energy here that maybe you're very happy with. So it's kind of like, no, nah, I don't, I'm focused on this situation here. If it ain't this person or if it ain't the situation, I don't want to know. Okay, for others of you, this is just self-love, okay? But something is going to really make you smile. It's really going to make you happy. You're going to be very pleased when it comes to something, okay? So we have stability that wanted to come out. Feeling safe and secure, exactly. So you are safe. The word safe is here twice because this card reads safety on it, okay? Okay. So like I said, if, you, if you're afraid that someone's going to steal something or someone's trying to use and abuse you, you are, you're safe. Don't worry about it. I feel like this person also wants to make you feel safe and secure. Maybe somebody um, was realizing that they, they, didn't, they wasn't a good partner to you. 
They didn't make you feel safe. They didn't make you feel very secure. Okay, but don't worry about that. I feel like the divine is kind of sending you someone here. Underneath that, we have divine masculine. Someone here who kind of like knows exactly what it is that they want. Okay, somebody here who's got a lot of um power, a lot of status or a lot of money or, you know, all of the above. Or someone here is an actual father figure. Now, again, this could be like the mother or the father of somebody's child saying like, yeah, I need to kind of step up and, you know, look after this person or do what I need to do, you know. Yes, just as I said that, we have partnership that wanted to come out, okay? It says teamwork makes the dream work, exactly. So like I said, somebody wants to kind of, we've got lovebirds at the bottom of the deck. Somebody wants to partner up with you. Now, for some of you, like I said, this is new, fresh energy that's coming in. I feel like you're just not interested in the past. You're not interested in people repeating the same cycles. You know, you're just like you're a dickhead or you're a bitch or you don't know how to love. You're just damaged and I just, I'm not in it. Like I want someone who's who knows what the fuck how to handle me basically okay someone who's on the same page so it's almost like this guy's here he's like yeah you know what i want to stabilize the situation with you i want to look after you and then she's like okay and you know now you're all expressing your love and you're all in loved up and shit now if this isn't love this could be like i said a business partnership or this could just be a new um love of self but this is what you could be affirming to yourself like if this is if i'm not receiving this energy then it's a no from me, okay? Yeah, show them who's boss. Exactly, we have power. Okay, so Aries energy is very heavy here, okay? So yeah, it's, it's affirming what it is that you want and not accepting anything less, okay? And then we have envy, ooh, at the bottom of the deck, okay? Which reads, they're jealous, but what else is new? Hate is gonna hate. So yeah, I feel like for some of you, like I said, you're very gifted, very talented, very beautiful. You've got all this love that's coming towards you. And people are jealous. People are jealous of your talent. So they're trying to steal your gifts or they're trying to do something to kind of um make you less desirable to people or make sure that you're not seen by people or something like that, okay? Because people know how valuable you are. They know that, you know, if you're very popular, if you've discovered you know, you're just going to blow up or something amazing is going to happen, okay? Like, someone is, like, threatened by your energy here. This also could be somebody who you was in a relationship with. Maybe this person wasn't showing you off, but they show off other people and you've come to the realisation this person is afraid that you're going to become more popular than them or you're going to be taken away from them. Like, somebody here is, like, secretly insecure or someone is, like, secretly envious of you, Okay? So this is the need for why you need to protect yourself. Now, now, for some of you, you may have done a protection spell as of recently. And um, you may find that every time you do heavy protection spells, like shit in your relationships fuck up. Because I feel like the, the divine is trying to protect you from this particular person. Because I feel like someone here is secretly jealous of you, okay? Now, for others of you, if this isn't the lover, this is just outside energy jealous. Because maybe you're not paying them any interest. You're not paying them any mind. Okay, and people are just jealous of whatever it is that you have. You know, haters are going to hate. That's what they're here to do. Okay, just ignore is what I just heard. So this is for my beautiful collective. Oh, so sensible. Yeah, so somebody, you know, someone here knows exactly what they want. They're very disciplined. They're very sensible. They're very serious. Okay. Yeah, oh, so lucky is at the bottom of the deck. So like I said, some of you are very lucky with talent, with love, with everything. You just, you just, you just got the gift, man. Okay, oh, so happy, beautiful energy. And then we have oh, so wealthy, yeah. So I feel like someone is really coming to take care of you, man. Or like I said, you're going to be receiving abundance of wealth. But it's definitely due to your talents or due to your love. Like someone just can't get enough of you now this could be like three separate situations also okay and then we have also intellectual at the bottom of the deck so yeah some of you are very smart you're very wise um you know you make great decisions and great choices and it's recognized okay so let me just pull from the love deck just because we have like love and partnership okay a card just wanted to fly underneath the table let me just see what card it is one second sorry guys oh oh my goodness Sorry. <laughs> I need to just get my, like, my setup right because I'm on the table today, so. Okay, one sec. I keep knocking the camera. Oh, I see no one else but you. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to keep that. 
Okay, so that's what's come out. So yeah, that's what I was saying. I just feel like you're just not interested in anyone else but this person. Someone is all about you and they're going to show you. And I feel like exes or anyone else, like someone here is going to be real jealous because it's like someone had the opportunity to do what they had to do and they just didn't. But somebody here is very protective over you, over this love, over, um, you know, someone is, is going to express this to you. Now, this could all be the same person also. So like I said, just take it how it resonates. Okay, so we have, I'm so sorry. And then, okay, so what's really going on here? And oh my God, you're so funny is at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, a lot of laughter, like I said, a lot of smiles. Someone thinks that you're um, real funny. I just feel like you're going to kind of make up with someone or like I said, something new is going to be sent to you. Or maybe you're like recently speaking to someone, dating them, but they're kind of just a bit off or they, they don't have a lot of time to speak to you. Maybe this person is very busy. So they're just expressing, do you know what? I'm so sorry. And you know, you guys are talking, you're having a lot of fun. Like someone just thinks that you're hilarious. They love speaking to you, okay? And again, something is going to be revealed, but whatever is revealed, it's gonna make you happy, okay? We've got two, you know, two cards of happiness here, okay? So you're going to find out what's really going on with the situation. You're going to get the clarity that you need, okay? And, um. Like I said, whatever is not serving you or if it's something that you don't want to hear, you don't have to entertain it here, okay? But somebody just doesn't want to miss out on being with you or working with you because somebody here is just like, um, someone here is just amazing, okay? Pretty much. Oh God, you know when the cards go everywhere but the table, you're just like, I don't really understand it. I just don't get it. So what, what fell on the floor? I am confident in communicating what I deserve. Exactly. So I feel like you've put that out to the universe or maybe you're saying it to this person like, listen, this is what I want. This is what I expect. It's either they, they, they're with it or they ain't. And I feel like somebody here is with it. Maybe somebody wasn't with it. So you're like, okay, you're not giving me what I want. So do you want to be with me? Yes or no? If they say no, okay, boom. On to the next. Thanks like, pretty much, you know? I'm getting power couple vibes here, okay? I am grateful for the money I have, but also worthy of all the money I desire, yeah. So with the oh so wealth, wealthy and the money, like, yeah, I feel like, I don't wanna say someone's going to buy you, but it's like someone here is very wealthy or they can provide for you, okay? And you deserve this. There's no need to apologize with the I'm so sorry card here, okay? Somebody also may get you something as a means to apologize to you for something that they've done. Maybe somebody wants to take you out or something like that, okay? But, like, if this isn't, um, you know, so you have a love situation, this is just, you're deserving of money. You're deserving, you, you deserve to be showered with gifts and affection or with, um, you know, you deserve for all your monetary needs to be met. Especially if you're working hard towards something, okay? So don't feel bad about all this fortune, Okay, or well, don't be feel bad about someone spoiling you. I feel like you deserve it. Okay, I accept a hundred percent of the responsibility for my happiness and development. Happiness again. Okay, gorgeous energy, and this one has come out. Also, every small action I take today adds up to the incredible results in the future. Exactly, and I feel like you've been taking the necessary steps towards something. Okay, and I feel like it's it's finally your time. Okay, and then we got I am. Hold on, no, that's not the right. I stay true to my core values and authentic self, exactly. So you're staying true to yourself. Like I said, if it's not, um, you know, if, if it's not cutting it, you don't want to know about it. And that's okay. That is okay. There is no need for you to feel guilty.